The Singer Heavy Duty 4452 sewing machine has a built-in stitch for a blind hem. Now, if you don't want to do a blind hem by hand, a couple passes and practice seams will help you master this stitch. So we are looking for the stitch one, two, three clicks to the right of the straight stitch. We are working in the black stitch area, so it's a stitch that jumps to the left and then back and then stitches down and jumps to the left again. So our stitch length, we're gonna adjust somewhere between one and two and our stitch width, a three to four. So depending on how thick your fabric is, we're gonna totally set this up based on this particular fabric and I'm gonna show you what you need to know. So first off, a blind hem is usually that little uh, st stitch that you see there are like little tiny tick marks on the front, usually on nicer fabrics, slacks, or even a uh, skirt. Some of those nice stitches for hems is how it's done versus just a straight stitch. So first off, you need to press in your hem. Next, the fabric is turned back on itself. So this little fold is what we're going to align the stitch two. So as it jumps over, we want it to catch the smallest amount possible into this fold. That will be that little tick mark that you'll see on this side when we open it up. So jump and then stitch to stitch and then a jump and all the way down. But because this is a mechanical machine, we're gonna need to do a couple stitches before we know where to line up our fabric. So you can see the needle is hanging out over here on the right side. So we're somewhere in this sequence of the stitch. I'm gonna just turn it by hand. This is how you have to do it until you get the needle to swing. Ah, oh, there it is. Now that might've taken two more stitches before it actually started to swing, but on this one, just it was right there. So I'm gonna bring this needle down and then lift up the presser foot and slide the fold so it's directly underneath the needle when it's gonna bite into it. So the closer you can get to the fold, and of course we're gonna match our thread when we do this normally, but this is where the stitch is gonna be. So as it stitches one, two, three, four, there are five, yep, yeah, five, and there's the swing. And then it's gonna come into the fold again. So you can kind of see where the fold is just slightly to the left of center. So as you sew, you're going to visually guide it down that area. And there are blind hem feet. So if this is something that you end up doing a lot of, you might find yourself wanting to get a foot that's got a little guide that you can easily follow. And I can tell I missed a couple stitches, but that's okay. The concept is all there and you can adjust or even go back and stitch a little bit where you've missed. But this is what it's gonna look like. I know I got it nice at the end. So you can see that your stitches are gonna come right on through, um, through the fabric. Now this is a little fluffier fabric, so even though it didn't show, which is okay, it actually caught on the back side. So that, that's like the ultimate stitch that is blind because you can't even see it. So even the goal is that they are kind of a consistent looking stitch. And if you want these spread out a little further, I should have put my stitch length to actually more like three, and then those would be a little bit more spaced out. Uh, again, depending on your fabric thickness, you can easily test it and get it just perfect.